Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland, and today I have the privilege to interview Luki Danu Karjanto. Hopefully, I pronounced your family name correctly <laughs> from Toronto. Hi, Luki, how are you doing? I'm fantastic, Meher. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And yeah, you did a pretty good job with the, my last name. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So Luki, he helped young professionals and students be more confident in creating their purpose field career. He is a career coach who started in the corporate world in one of the big four in the tech business world, who now shares Swiki, stuff I wish I knew earlier, to help you find meaning and purpose in your career and help elevate confidence to have a better, happier life. So Loki, let's start from your book, Stuff I Wish I Knew Earlier. And mm -hmm. In the first chapter, I believe you mentioned that to know yourself. And I always tell my clients, like, know who you are, know your values before applying to a job. So in your, in your experience, why knowing yourself, knowing your values is important part before starting the job journey? Yeah, there, there's an expression that comes to mind. Uh, all roads are correct if you don't know where you're going, <laughs> right? So unfortunately for a lot of us, and I don't know if it was your experience, but for me, uh, growing up was kind of fairly linear in the sense that mm -hmm. uh, I had a kind of clear path. I had to become like a, a doctor, lawyer, accountant, engineer. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of predicted for me. And I needed to go to university to get one of mm -hmm. these degrees. I needed to get a job. I needed to get married, have kids, and yes. all, so on and so forth, right? Um, but unfortunately, life doesn't necessarily turn out that way. So uh, if you don't know where you're going, then it's a matter of a uh, bit, bit more challenge, right? Do, yes. do I go left? Do I go right? And what have you? Um, in the job search specifically, right? Uh, you are supposedly getting a job, right? So yes. if I tend to work a lot with folks in, in business or technology. So if they say, I want to get into finance, mm -hmm. like, what does finance mean? <laughs> finance yeah. is uh, on the corporate side, investment banking, there's uh, financial analysis, there's so many different areas, even though they've niched down. And it's like saying that, hey, I, you want to go on vacation? Sure. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Asia. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Where? Well, well narrow it down a little bit the east the the, the south the the, the uh, west part of it wherever yeah. do you want to go to right yes. uh, and then when you get to say you know what maybe east asia maybe specifically japan maybe tokyo all right then now we can narrow down and have a little bit of a, yes. a, a better job right um and unfortunately most people when they job seek they basically do a, a technique which i call like spray and pray well yeah. th that's not really my technique but they basically like cast their net wide mm -hmm. and hope right without focusing uh but but my view is when you do that it's like uh fishing where mm -hmm. your net is has a bunch of rips and holes and tears <laughs> that a lot of things can can get through because uh, if you're casting your net and uh, you're not clear on exactly what you want and what more importantly exactly the value you provide then it becomes more challenging so what i recommend folks to do is is start with something in mind, right? Mm. A specific company, a specific role. And when you have that crystal clarity, then when you answer like a tell me about yourself, when you write your cover letter, when you do your elevator pitch, what all those different things, yeah. it's clear uh, on folks on where you fit into the, the organization. So I highly encourage folks to understand and identify where they want to be. And that doesn't mean they commit there and that's the only place they can end up. But yeah. at least when you know where you uh, are going, um, mm -hmm. then you can get there. Now, if you end up uh, going to uh, Tokyo, Japan for vacation and you, I don't know, get diverted into uh, Malaysia <laughs> because mm -hmm. of some bad weather, well, that, that's just life and, and how things happen. But at least you're in that vicinity of something a little bit closer mm -hmm. than kind of the randomness that, that happens out there. So that's why I recommend folks to start with something in mind, know what you want and go after it. And along the way, you might realize that's not exactly where you want to be. Yeah. And is there any specific technique or any specific assessment that job seekers or international students can do to help them identify those values? Well, those values themselves, uh, I guess a technique that I use is something that I called a 5 two, two, one journaling, right? Okay. And what it is, is five minutes a day, right? Mm -hmm. Writing down for two minutes on what you did that drained you, right? It's the, those things that 
if you said, Luki, if I never had to do that again, I'd be a happy person. <laughs> yeah. And and the reason why it's two minutes, it's, it's, it's uh, not that I don't like looking at numbers. It's I don't looking at these types of reports with this person with that level of detail or without having lunch yet or something as yeah. detailed as possible. Then two minutes on what you did that uh, excited you, that energized you. If you've ever been in the state of flow, if you've ever been uh, in the zone, right? Those yeah. are times when you want, again, as detailed as possible. And then figure out how you can minimize the first and mm -hmm. maximize the second. That's the last minute there. And then you start noticing patterns, right? And from there, you take those patterns and say, okay, is it more on this type of role, that type of role? Maybe you're more interested in the industry or the people that you're serving or the area that you're going into. Because sometimes people are narrowly, narrowly focused on like uh, business, tech, STEM stuff or humanities, right? Yeah. Because that's how the, the universities are, are, are uh, segregated, right? But meanwhile, you could be in any area, but as long as you're uh, within the entertainment industry or manufacturing or education or whatever, you mm -hmm. can have a, a, a good life, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's probably a ton of different different uh, assessments out there, but I recommend that 5-2-2-1 journaling because mm -hmm. it helps you get not so much the values perspective, but the things that you do that that energize you, that yeah. light you up, and yeah. the things that you don't want to do. And I find that's a, a very helpful and compelling um, way to, to, to start the progress towards potential uh, career paths, career fits. And then at the end of the day, go try it, go do it, right? Because it's unlikely that any sort of assessment will be able to pinpoint exactly. It'll be get you in the vicinity and mm -hmm. you try it. And then you get more information and you try something else and you get more information, you try something else. So yeah, that's that's what I would recommend. The 5-2-2-1 journaling for you to help kind of understand the different areas where you uh, value in terms of your career path in life and moving forward towards that. Yeah, those are great tips, Loki. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Loki a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can like, share all the videos. So tune in next time for another great question with Loki. Mm -hmm.